in this film I'll prove to you that NATO is a part of Octagon. And I already told you that Octagon rules over Pentagon. The logo consists of eight parts, which you can see here. The dark ones and the white ones. Which is already proven enough, but there's more. There's far more to it, which is only visible for the trained eye. In just 10 minutes time, you will know that the NATO logo holds a Templar's cross, the number 8, because of the 8 parts, it holds an octagon, a Swiss flag and Swiss army logo, and we can all smell the swastika in it, can't we? I mean, just focus on the dark parts of it. You can already see the swastika, but I'll show you a better one in a moment. So here we can see the eight original pieces of octagon. You see, there are eight pieces. So I'll show you that I can make with this an octagon, a Swiss flag of the, uh, the ben Swiss, Bendover Swiss flag of the, uh, the Swiss Army logo, a NATO cross, a swastika. Yeah. So first of all is uh, NATO with the um, original eight uh, octagon puzzle parts. And if I turn this around here, I will turn them all around. Yes, a Templar's cross with the same eight parts of the octagon parts, of the NATO parts. It's very mathematical and these are very smart guys. Uh, so octagon, here's a Templar's cross from octagon, uh, Switzerland, which was founded by the Templars in 1291. See the Pharaoh show and the octagon series of Gure and on YouTube. And of course, we all sense the swastika in it. So now I'm going to show you. Uh, that we can make the um, swastika. I just move a couple of parts around. Well, what do you know? A real swastika. So the Nazis are within the NATO. With the eight original octagon pieces of NATO, we can make a Templar's cross and a swastika, and even more. Well, we know now that most of the Templar Nazis from World War II, as Werner von Braun and other mass murderers, well that was the guy who made the V2 rockets, killing people in London and Coventry and using up uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, concentration camp slaves, Um, so these mass murderers and war criminals, they went to the US, Argentina, Switzerland, etc. They scattered all over the world, working for secret services and octagon blue army forces and continued to kill, murder and torture people. In South America, for the CIA, which stands for the Cocaine Import Agency, the OSS and even stayed in Germany, working for the Octagon Blue Army Police and the BND German Secret Service, who had real Gestapo and SS butchers and mass murderers working for them. This is a fact. Look it up. And with these very same pieces and this very same form like this, I can make an octagon. This is the head, octagon. So this is one, and this is two, and here is three, like this, and here's four, and I'll get to the other four in a minute and I'll show you the octagon.
with the same pieces of the Templar's Cross, the swastika and the NATO logo. So anyone needs any more proofs now? Yeah, we can fit them together like this. And this is number three. And here's number four. Like this. I'll just get the rest. We well, already see it now, eh? Well, there we go. This is Octogon. Do you think this is a coincidence? Get out of here. They are... They are rubbing sand in our eyes. Just like the... Uh, the pharaonic viper snake, which is hiding under the sand. This is why they put sand in our eyes, right? And these Nazi Templars of Octogon went into the NATO throwing chemical and biological weapons of mass destruction upon the people of North Korea, releasing hell in Vietnam and Southeast Asia, murdering millions and again using WOM weapons of mass destruction as Agent Orange using DU depleted uranium in Yugoslavia during the Balkan War and DU is a weapon of mass destruction it is and now they use DU and other WOM against the Muslims in Libya, Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan etc. thus even killing and mutilating the offspring that hasn't even been born yet for generations to come so in fact NATO with their Nazi swastika Templar octagon logo never did not use weapons of mass destruction in any of NATO's wars they made use of WOM in every single one of NATO war NATO's wars well here it is this is the same symbol the octagon symbol as I showed you on the octagon motherland on the uh, the Swiss Army barracks just across the um, the Secret Service. Do you think this is a coincidence? No, it isn't. Well, there it is. I showed you this one again in uh, before in one of my other vids, the vid before, on uh, the Octogon in the motherland Octogon in on a Swiss Army barracks just across the uh, the Swiss Secret Service. There it is. I told you, I showed you this before. The NATO sign is in here, and the, this is two times the Templar symbol as well, and two times the NATO symbol. So this is the motherland of NATO and the Templars. You understand? And now I show you the bend over uh, Swiss Army uh, logo. Um, I'll do it like this. Um, well, just a minute. Like this. See? Well, there it is. Again, eight pieces. The same pieces of the NATO logo. With these eight pieces, I can make a NATO logo, a Templars logo, a swastika. So this is the reason for which the uh, the logo of the Swiss Army is like slightly bent over. This is the reason. I just showed you the reason. This is a very complex um, mathematical symbols. These are, and they're being made by very very smart people who are. Um, who are real good. I mean, we don't. We shouldn't underestimate the enemy within. So you see, it 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 fits. It's all the same. They just change jackets and and speak other languages, you know. But it's still the same Templars. <laughs> they rule the world. Do you need any more proofs? Well, here's the logo of the Swiss Army, and you can see it's a bit bent over. And watch the octagon symbol behind. Just as I showed you <clears throat> on the Swiss Army barracks in front of the, um, the Swiss Secret Service. And again you see the octagon behind it. It's three times the octagon for the motherland, Octogon.
You see, this is octagon, and octagon rules over pentagon. The Nazi Templars of Switzerland, right? Well, here you can see it again, the uh, logo of the Swiss Army, the Nazi Templars of Switzerland. You can see the octagon flag, and watch how the logo in red, how it is bent over. Yeah, which I'm going to show to you later. Which is very, it's a part of the octagon. It's, uh, it's very mathematic. And here the, uh, the Templar's wing, the executional wing, is actually here a part of four. Well, I thought they had only three wings. The financial wing, the, um, the Swiss banks, the, uh, the military wing, the Swiss Nazi Templars of Octagon, and the, uh, the political wing, the Freemasons. But apparently here there's four. You see? Uh, so I don't know. Maybe somebody else can find out. And in fact, the motherland Octogon is officially not in the NATO because Switzerland has to stay clean and neutral and the brain of the beast with seven heads and ten horns see the pharaoh show can't get involved and get its fingers dirty but watch and follow the octagon templars and pharaonic Switzer symbols in Switzerland watch how NATO entirely surrounds and protects the base of and motherland of the pharaohs and how Octogon Switzerland only uses NATO equipment as helicopters, tanks, airplanes etc. Even the Swiss rifle ammunition is 223 Remington standard NATO ammo and adapted to the rest of NATO. The Octogon Templar Nazis from Switzerland just slip into another jacket all the time, speak another language and make a new logo and it should be clear now that this logo of their latest military organization withholds all the logos of their previous ones right in front of their, our eyes and we got sand in our eyes I tell you the sand of the viper the pharaonic viper which strikes very quickly is poisonous and um, the satanic hand well I told you about that these are the ones that rule. I, I, I told you that a Templar's cross is from a pyramid and the swastika as well. So the, the NATO logo is in fact from a pyramid. And even my sandals have a swastika on it. Look at it. Isn't that horrible? This video should go viral. The obvious and visual proofs it displays are striking. Someone called me yesterday a truth seeking missile. Well, I hope that the impact will be devastating and that truth will prevail. I fear the Swiss Nazi Templar police from Octogon, Switzerland, will hold me up again after this vid as I've already received numerous murder threats by them and uh, numerous arrests by um, their well it's not really anti by their terrorist squad this vid is for humanity see the pharaoh show in the octagon series